So you just stole your mom's credit card and now loading into No Rest for the Wicked. Don't worry, I'll tell you everything you need to know before you load in. Now, if you are a player from Payday 2, treat normal like it's a very hard to overkill level of difficulty heist. You are about to get your shit rocked by dozers, snipers, and cloakers. And oh god, especially cloakers. The higher difficulty you go, the more of them they spawn and the tankier they get. Now, before you load in, there is pre-planning. You can select what asset you want pre-placed for you, but do this before you hit ready. Go inside and mask up. Use the middle mouse button to shout at the civs so they drop. Kill any guards that shoot at you. Now, tie up the civilians by holding F. They can delay the assault and overwrite spawn mechanics so hostage rescue units spawn instead of regular SWAT. The hostage rescue won't attack you unless provoked, meaning less guns shooting at you. Pro tip, slide fucking everywhere. You do this by getting a little bit of speed and holding crouch. The negotiation phase will start. Have a teammate or you spam delay assault with all of your hostages. Once assault starts, you can trade them for medkits for future assault breaks. Now go to the right and up the stairs, and wait for my man Bile to airdrop you supplies. In this bag is thermite, and Bile will drop you bags throughout this heist. Slap it down over here using Q. Now you will need to wait roughly 5 minutes, but you can speed this up by adding more thermite. But wait, adding too much causes the sprinklers to go off, so add 2 at the start and 1 more each minute. Sabotage teams? Fuck. I just can't do it. I can't Okay, the sprinkler control panel will have a marker to show you where it is. Hold F to turn that shit off. The cabinets in the security office have ammo, and in the bathroom is medkits, so use them. Also, hostage cover is useless unless you are damn good with your pistol aim, because if not, a SWAT will hit you like a motherfucker. You burn through the hole? Nice. Okay, now drop down and wait for your crew. The moment this door opens, you have 12 seconds before that shit can bust. So you and your crew need to disarm them before that happens. Nice. Okay, grab the bags and run over to the street. The back alley is the best cover you have, so stash the bags somewhere here. You may have noticed this bar over here. It's the overkill bar. You progress it with time or by killing cops. Once it's red, press Z to get the big booms dropped to you. When you get onto the street, you need to lower the bollards. There are multiple electric panels with the amount you need to turn off increasing with difficulty, so look for them and turn them off ASAP so the van can come. Keep in mind, it is now that cloakers and bulldozers spawn. If you are starting out, avoid bulldozers at all costs unless you have a teammate with you. They need a stupid amount of bullets to break their faceplate, but once it is broken, he is one shot. Shit! Okay, FBI spawned. This is an endless assault. To stop it, go back to your starting location and beat the fuck out of this antenna. You're out of ammo now? Okay, if you didn't change anything before joining, hold X to deploy an ammo bag. In the loadout, you can change what you deploy, like ammo, armor bags, or medic bags. Also, you can regenerate a little bit of armor after a fight, but health you cannot. Wait for the van in the alley as guards get funneled in that way. The van can appear on opposite ends of the road, so the alley is a good middle point. Once he is about to arrive, a marker will appear. Haul ass to it. Toss in all the bags. You can pick the optional deposit boxes if you want extra cash, but if this is your first heist, get the fuck out, upgrade your shit, and come back. Alright, so you just completed your first Tyson Payday 3, and definitely first try with no cloakers bodying you. 